Welcome to this month's edition of Twining's Tea Tasters. Now this month on Tea Tasters, we've got a fantastic Fijian green jasmine tea for you to try. Now jasmine plant, there are about 200 sub-varieties grow in the mainly tropical regions of the world. So of course, China's an absolutely ideal location for jasmine to grow for use for this green tea. Now the use of jasmine with uh, green tea goes back to the Song Dynasty in China, around 960 to 1270 AD. And of course, during this period of time, there were lots of innovative uses of tea and different plant materials. But this is one that's managed to succeed and make its way to our teapots today. The type of cultivar of jasmine flower used in this green tea is uh, typically found in the upper mountainous regions of the Fujian area. The blossom is picked early in the morning, just as it's about to bloom, then kept cool during the day. Towards the evening, when a lot of jasmine flowers bloom in the early evening, it's mixed with this Chinese green or black, in some circumstances, tea base, where the flavor and scent of the blossom is imparted with the tea. Jasmine green tea is often found throughout China and Southeast Asia and is used as an aperitif or as an accompaniment with local cuisine. Of course, it's a delicious palate cleansing drink or can be taken after a meal and you tend to find a complimentary pot in most establishments. Now, let's get some of this brewed up in our tea tasters pot this month and have a look at some of those fantastic, valuable flavors and tastes. Okay, so let's make up some of our uh, Fijian jasmine green tea. Now, of course, we're gonna use our tea tasters crockery that we use on our tea tasters videos. And of course, we've got a beautiful pot here that we're gonna make some up in. Now, when we have a look at this tea in a bit more detail, you can't but help notice, A, the beautiful quality of this young spring tea that's being used, and B, some of those really delicate jasmine flowers that's been left behind during the scenting. It's really fascinating to go through and see that mixture of flowers and tea. Now, because it's a very good quality Fijian green jasmine tea, we're gonna use slightly less than we might normally do. It imparts quite a deep and powerful uh, flavor and experience. So I'm gonna use one level teaspoon in my tea tasters crockery. And of course, we've got a beautiful pot here. It's holding about a liter. And I'm gonna put four level teaspoons in there. One, two, three, four. Got my hot water ready here. So I'm just gonna pour that into the pump. So what you can do with your hot water is bring it to the boil, then just give it about two minutes to settle, at which point it's gonna be absolutely the right temperature to be using with our green tea. Of course, in our tasters crockery, we're gonna pop that in there. And then on this occasion, I'm gonna give this tea just over three minutes. Okay, so we've had just over three minutes now, and we're gonna pour our tasting crockery and have a look at what we've got. Now, the important thing with this particular jasmine green tea, not to use too much on the spoon. It's a very, very high quality, and it's got a very, very powerful mouthfeel, very, very strong taste. So less is more, definitely, with this particular tea. Now, of course, in the cup we can see a powerful, pale, green, golden cup. It's really, really clear. The light's absolutely bouncing on it. It's a beautiful tea. And of course, those heady floral aromas wafting up from the, uh, from the tea. Now, we've made it in our pot, of course, and you can pour these into the beautiful little tea tasting cups. And the great thing about this particular jasmine tea on tea tasters this month is that you could reuse the leaves a couple of times until the flavors are naturally exhausted. But the flavor in a bit more detail. A completely classic green Chinese base. It's beautiful, it's light, it's delicate, it dances on the tongue. And of course it carries that really heady jasmine floral flavor and aroma really, really well. It captivates the senses and livens the mouth up. It really is a tea that has stood the test of time and you can see why when you drink it. So of course, a lot like sparkling wines, what you tend to find with jasmine green tea is the lower grades are quite thick and heavy and the taste and flavor go quite quickly. 
but as with the higher grades of sparkling wine, the jasmine on this is balanced, it's delicate, and it's there through multiple different steepings. It's an absolute delight. This particular jasmine green tea is gonna go well with any lightly spiced dishes. It's gonna work really well with rice, with chicken, with fish. It really is an all-round tea. And uh, I'll certainly be enjoying a few cups of jasmine this summer, because of course it's a great tea to be taking in that powerful sunny afternoon. So until next time, happy tea times.